Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. So I'm looking on my channel for a video to send to a customer of the Red Hawk 24B, and I don't have one. I can't believe I've had this channel over two years, and I've never done this classic model that is super popular. Um, it's a little loud and noisy on 436 here. I'm at Blue Compass of Orlando in Castleberry for anybody wondering where we're at. We're about 30 minutes south of the Orlando airport so it can get a little bit noisy. I'll try to stand between the motorhomes as I speak but I have a really good opportunity today to show you all the options, all the colors, all the features on the Red Hawk by Jayco. This is their classic 24B as in boy floor plan. It's about 26 feet total length. Um, they have two interior colors and I have one of each interior color. I also have one of each with the interior optioned sofa versus dinette. I'm, I'm sorry, I should rephrase that. Dinette versus theater seats. So some people option it with the theater seats, some people prefer the dinette. You know, it's kind of hard to see both of them. So it's really exciting that I've got them both here next to each other. And I figured let's take a look at both of them. So we're gonna go through the insides first and I'll show you one, then the other, and then we'll go through the exterior. And then finally, I'll save the best for last. I know everybody likes to see it with the slide outs in. So if you stay till the end, you'll get to see that. Uh, let's, let's get started, let's check it out. Okay, so we're going to start out with the classic floor plan for the Red Hawk. Um, actually, one thing I will say is that this is a 2023 model, and I think the one next door to me is a 2024 model. So you will see some changes between the two. I apologize. I thought they were identical, identical. But overall, um, it will give you a good feel of the differences between the two. So starting in the cab area, right in the Brighton interior is what it was called for 2023. You're going to get these uh, seats from Ford that they upholster to match the rest of the motorhome. You have this nice big Sony infotainment dash, which you can see I've got the engine running because somebody left the battery on. Um, last night so just trying to run everything so you can see all the lights um, it has the blinker on right now so that's why you see that that camera hanging down low what's going down the side of the motorhome uh, for 23 they did not have a window in this cap I will say for 24 in the next model you will see the differences um, there they added the front cap the windshield cap just like Integra's and it looks gorgeous but here is the main the, the main piece okay the icon this is the floor plan great full wall slide on a 26 foot motorhome. You've got two closets, you've got a walk around bed, right? You've got a pretty good size kitchen here, which is really, really nice. Love that double sink, love the power tower, love how much storage you have. You have a real sized microwave, okay? Still got the um, oven and the three burners. There's no convection on the microwave because you have the oven, but overall great, great interior. Oh, here, another difference for 23. This is your gas electric fridge, which was standard on the 2023s by Norcold. It's fine, it does the job, it's gas and electric, right? Some people really prefer that propane, but that's another upgrade for 2024 is they've made a change to the fridge. So I feel like this video is gonna turn into a comparison of 23s to 24s, as well as the difference in the interiors. But standing from the back, this is optioned with, I'm gonna switch hands on this phone, because my right hand is the better one of the two. All right, this is option with the U-shaped dinette here. So you can drop this down, you can sleep two people, but it is nice because this table, you can loosen it up, you can swivel it. If there's two of you, you need more space. Uh, you need more space to get in and out. Or if you have a bigger family and you want, you know, once everybody gets in there and you need to fit more bodies and more plates on the table, that's a good way to, to handle it. Um, this is the, what's standard on the 24B is a U dinette. However, you can option theater seats. And as we go into the next one, you'll see the modern farmhouse and the theater seats in there. Balance is looking pretty good. You've got your storage up above here. TV is on a swivel here. That's the one complaint I get from people. But what's nice is that these seats in the front do swivel around. They do not come with bolsters anymore for 2024. Actually, I don't even see bolsters in this model, which is a 2023. Nope. 
So you will have to, oh, look at that. Nice shelves. All right, Gabby, we gotta get, we're getting off track here. Uh, so yeah, the seats will swivel and you can sit and watch the TV with your guests, but it is kind of an awkward angle for whoever's sitting at that seat. Now you have seat belts in every seating location, as well as in 2023, they added this, the car seat tether. So you do have that if you have a young, a young camper coming with you. Okay, uh, pretty much that's basically the interior, right? There's not much to it. You've got your countertops, you've got your fridge, you've got your bathroom here with a plastic toilet for the Jayco Red Hawk for 2023. If you go to the Integra Odyssey, you'll pick up that porcelain toilet. And bathroom is, you know, your typical corner bathroom. You do have a stainless steel sink and, and faucet, which I like. You do have a, hey there. <laughs> um, you do have a medicine cabinet, which is pretty shallow. This shower has a nice stainless steel fixture. You've got a pretty big uh, jump up into the shower, guys. It is at least a foot, foot and a half to step up in there because they do that um, plywood base below the shower there. But a uh, nice surround and skylight. And then you have a towel hanging rack here. And the controls for your fan and your light are right here on the right side. Toilet paper holder is in a approved spot, right? It's not on the door. It's not hidden in a drawer. It's pretty good. The queen bed, I will say. So the back here, we'll go over this first. Back closet has the folding ladder, which is great for the bunks. You've got the privacy shade there. You can option the sun shade that actually goes in the windshield in front to, to, to give you the privacy. But that, that shade there is going to go between, like right there over the edge of the bed. Like the seats are outside. People could see the seats with that sh cover shade. But if you order the sun shade option, then it'll go in the actual windows. But hanging closet here is massive. That's why I like the 24B. Lots of storage down below. And then this queen walk around bed. Now, plenty of windows around the bed. They open, you can get a fresh breeze. You've got lights, you've got power, you've got storage, right? The issue is, and this is the deal breaker for some people, is the bed has to fold to close the slide, okay? And we'll come back here in a minute and I'll close the slide up for you actually. But um, this bed has to close for that slide to work. So the issue is that, I mean, it's great because you've got a bit of storage here. When it's open, you can lift the bunk and you can do that. You can lift the bed and do that, excuse me. But people really either love or hate. It's like the Murphy bed scenario, right? You can't have it all. So if you want a shorter unit and you want to have a walk around bed, you don't want that corner bed, which can be really obnoxious, then this is kind of your option, okay? Um, or you have to go longer. And even then I have the 27U, which is a great layout. I might do that in a future video. I don't know that I've ever done that one before. Um, that 27U is the only class C with a king bed, it's still a folding bed. It's still a walk around folding bed and the unit's like 29 feet. So you really gotta learn where to give and where to get. But I think that about covers the basic interior of this 24B. I'm like three miles still empty on the fuel. So let me, uh, let's cut out and we will cut back in in the other 24 model. And voila, we are now in the 2024 Red Hawk 24B. Guys, they did some great upgrades for 24 but i gotta say that my favorite is this fridge so the biggest thing is they have now moved to a 12 volt fridge standard they've done away with the gas electric you've got this nice big deep fridge this model has been optioned with the 200 watt solar panel with the second house battery so you can trickle charge that and keep this fridge going when you're down the road without having to um well, it's a 12 volt fridge, so you don't have to run your generator anyway, but you can keep it, keep it going while you're traveling. The same bones, right? We've got the closet. We've got this walk around bed. Now this interior color is the modern farmhouse 2019 Stacy Stewart. They finally hired a female interior designer <laughs> and uh, she came out with this gorgeous interior. Everybody loves it. Everybody else followed suit afterwards. Now what's funky Check it out. You now have the new upgraded cap, okay? This is normally an Integra. For 2023 and previous model years, you would not find this in a Red Hawk. But now for 24, Jayco has added it to their Red Hawk lineup, which is awesome. So if it's not, not an SE, because next door we have the SE and that does not have it. But for 24 in the Red Hawk lineup, you can now find the, um, what is it? ABS mold surround, I think it's called, something like that. But it's this, um, you know, it's got chargers, it's got cup holders, it's got places for your books, your iPads, your phones, everything. And it's uh, got the window shade, which is probably the biggest feature. Now, this bunk is still rated for 750 pounds. They haven't changed that, right? 
Um, you do have an added TV here. I didn't even realize there's two TVs now. So there's a TV up above here. And then if I turn back around, I'm trying to slow down for you guys, you have a TV here as well. Now, it's kind of funky, right? I mean, I guess with the theater seats, you'll be watching that TV. And then maybe the people sitting in these swivel seats will be watching this TV. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, um, that's a pretty neat upgrade for 24 is the big windshield and second TV, right? Then you obviously, like I went back to, I was talking about that fridge is awesome. Uh, let's see what else, bathroom. Still got the plastic foot flush toilet. So you gotta go to the Integra Odyssey to get that porcelain toilet. But this is the interior for the modern farmhouse bathroom. They did change the wallpaper a bit for 24 as well. They changed the countertops. They changed the flooring slightly. So it will differ from 23 to 24. Uh, there's some changes even on the last one that I just showed you. But I just overall wanted to give you a gist. Look, like this is a black matte um, finishing. And remember the other one was stainless steel for everything. Hey again, same size, same size medicine cabinet, nothing changes there. But coming back out, take a walk through this one again. This one is option with the theater seats. Now the other option that's on the 24B is hydraulic auto leveling jacks, okay? These are not standard, but actually this 2024 that we just got in stock two weeks ago actually has the electronic auto leveling, or excuse me, jacks. So the thing is with these, and you see the solar controller there too, um, they are a less expensive from the factory, but they are an optional add-on at the dealership. So if you come in here, you love one of my coaches, we get you a really great price. Oh, Gabby, it doesn't have jacks. They are pre-wired. We can do it here. It's no trouble at all if you really want them. Uh, comment down below if you feel like auto leveling jacks on a shorter coach are not always necessary. I wanna know your feedback on that one because I've got mixed, mixed reviews about, you know, it's a shorter coach. You don't really need auto leveling jacks. Oh, you always need them. Oh, if you don't have kids that are running around and moving everything around, then you don't need them. But yeah, that is the new 24B for 2024, the modern farmhouse interior with the theater seats. Um, looks like they got a stainless steel microwave, so they changed out the microwave, right? The last one didn't have that. Countertops are different. You still have your, you still got your charger there. And yeah, I would say, oh, oh, it's not on here, but the last thing that I love that they did was if you see the U dinette into 2024, they added Velcro to the back of the chairs. So now your um, seats are not gonna like fall down all the time. If we went back in that 2023, you'd see that the problem with the back cushions is that they don't stay put all the time, especially if you're not level. And so people would complain that those cushions fell off all the time. A simple like $3 upgrade with those Velcros, but it really makes a huge difference. Um, and that, I think that about covers the inside of both of them. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the outside and then let's check it out with the slide out in. Hey everybody, okay, we are back. It is actually several hours later. I was recording the exterior of the Red Hawk and my phone reported that it was too hot. So I guess uh, she needed a break. <laughs> um, on the left here is the 2023 Red Hawk. As you can see, they had this classic bubble one piece cap look to it and now they've got the new 24 has more definition has more shape it looks more like your odyssey so that's really the biggest difference on the exterior you've got cat strap the catalytic converter protective strap now i don't know why i just noticed it on more recent motorhomes um but this is a 23 and it says it has it so apologies for the music in the background somebody on the highway is playing their music super super loud or actually, it may actually be the people at work at the Charlie's across the street. Okay, let's continue. So, side view cameras on the Red Hawk, right? They're down low, the blind spot area. So if you have a low passing vehicle, like a Vespa, a smart car, the things that I drive, right? <laughs> um, you'll be able to see it on the little monitor on the inside of the motorhome. So this right here, you'll be able to see that left and that right blinker as I showed you earlier when I did the interior walk around video. The 
electric step, single electric step. You've got a nice big electric awning that spans almost the entire, actually the entire width of the camping side of the motorhome. So that's a big deal. And you have frameless windows, a vacuum bonded lamination. You've also got your J ride package, which is huge. That's all your upgrades on the chassis that ensures that you have the quietest riding, best handling class C on the market in this price point. I will point out two features on the J ride that you can physically see here. It's gonna be the Hellwig helper spring. That's that inverted leaf spring that says Hellwig right there on top of your Ford leaf spring. It's going to help distribute the weight more evenly and bring the weight from the back of the coach back to the center so that it's easier to drive and so that you don't have as much swaying. You've also got those hockey puck looking things. Hold on, let me get back in there. Those hockey puck looking things, they're called uh, rubber isolation mounts. So those are going to be between the house and the chassis just to give you a little bit more, um, a little bit more, I guess, like absorption of the road noise, the road vibrations, which is awesome. So that's uh, part of their J-Ride package that comes on the Jayco's and it's called Easy Drive on the uh, Integra's. And we love those features. It really makes a difference in terms of the ride and handling of their motor homes. Okay, propane tank is right here. It does not remove, you do have to go to a station to actually fill it. So that will be the first compartment on your camping side. Next one, you do have a little um, string here. It's like plastic covered string there. And you have your solar prep down there. And you also have uh, the 23s don't have solar. It's the 24s that do now, guys. Um, 110 outlets back here and there's a cable output. So you could get a TV outside. It does not come with an exterior entertainment center. You could set up a little TV, a table right here and put a TV on it. And you have got that going for you, which is really nice on the camping side. Next is gonna be your hot water heater. That is gas electric there. That is not a tankless. Um, you can tell cause it's a square instead of a circle. If it was a circle, it'd be on demand. Another little storage bay. This could be used for tools, smaller items, maybe um, cooking gear and stuff like that. Finally, you do have this storage bay as well. Now these are all like a metal storage bay. There's no carpet, there's no plastic, there is no drain hole though. So if there, you get water in there, you're gonna have to clean it out the proper way. Um, you do have LP Connect. So this is for your grill. So you don't have to keep your grill up towards your um, door if you'd like. You can set up your grill right here. You're still kind of under the awning. You could even stand right outside the awning if you don't want the smoke to catch the awning accidentally. On the back of the unit, you have your backup camera. You have your ladder to get up on that roof. You do not have a Magnum truss roof system on the motorhomes. This is something that I made the mistake the first year I was selling RVs. The Magnum truss roof is only on the towables <laughs> for Jacob. All right, tow capacity is 7,500 pounds and it has a true 750 tongue. So you can actually pull up to 7,500 pounds. Finally, you have some storage back here. Hang on, there's some customers on the lot. Apologies there, we just had some customers on the lot and I wanted to make sure that they were being helped. Uh, customer service is our first priority here at Blue Compass in Castleberry. All right, back to the tour. So you've got your outside shower. This is gonna have hot and cold water. And honestly, guys, I should have opened this for you before I went back to recording. But we'll do this while we continue. City water connection on the right here. Black tank flush on the left. That's always nice to have that on board. And then your fuel fill is right here on the driver's side in the rear. There is your outside shower, guys. You've got hot, cold water. You also have a little place to put the faucet to hang from. Um, you have to be much shorter than I am even to wash underneath that. It's more for kids and pets, uh, but it is nice to have that. Holding tank dumps are pretty low here to the ground. Um, black and gray in the same spot this is going to be your biggest storage bay underneath the slide out and you have i would say a foot of room on that side and then you have your uh water tank controls here for how you fill it and you could probably fit a couple of folding chairs in here it's not super long it's not super deep but it'll do the job for like maybe a smaller plastic bin underneath the slide out We've got the 30 amp connection. The power cord is inside there. So the easiest thing to do is snake it underneath. Uh, of course, at the dealership, we move units so often that we usually don't do that. So right now this is just sitting here ready to go. I'll lock that back up. Fun uh, next door is the generator. Wonder where the generator door went, guys. A 4,000 watt Cummins Onan 
gas generator, okay? On board the motorhomes, you're gonna have a gas generator which also powers off of the gas tank and it will shut off at a quarter tank to ensure that you don't lose any gas and you're, you get stranded down the road because you're running your generator. Last storage bay here, pretty much what I've got on the other side. It is a little bit deeper, but same thing. Uh, only so much storage on this unit on the exterior. Really the best part of this 24B, oh, I just knocked my head. The best part of this 24B is going to be the interior closets and storage. And that's pretty much what you're also looking at on the 2024. Not too many crazy changes aside from that windshield and the front and then the interior features we went over. All right, so here we are in the 2024 with the theater seats and this is your walking space when the unit is closed. I gotta say this is a great, great floor plan because I can easily get to the bathroom with everything shut, right? Uh, I mean, I can access the entire thing. And then the second question is, can I get to the fridge? And I mean, you can even walk back and forth in this hallway. Uh, I wouldn't cook while driving, but you could cook while driving. You could, you could make a cup of coffee, come sit down. Uh, the theater seats are gonna stick out a little bit less or a little bit, uh, I think they're about the same. The dinette might stick out a little bit more, but either way, you have a decent amount of space. Even if the dinette came out a couple more inches, you've still got a walkway. Uh, potentially a, a dog could hang out and lounge while you're traveling. Although of course, you know the dogs are gonna hang out on that theater seat, right? Um, if I turn back around this way, fridge. This is not the fridge that's gonna fall off <laughs> if you saw my last Jay Feather video. Um, this is a one-sided entry fridge, but yeah, opens right up a plenty i can get to that and same thing for the freezer so those are the big ticket items that people will ask me you know when when the slide out's closed can i access the bathroom gabby can i access the i wouldn't have kids sleeping up here but you do have this 200 pound rated net that will click in there for some for storing some items up there while traveling um can I get to the bathroom and can I get to the fridge? And you can do both and more. The only thing you cannot do, guys, is sleep on this bed. Now, you know, the feedback is if you're short enough, you could potentially leave the bed up like that and sleep on it. I don't know that I would do that because I don't know what the weight rating is on the slide out mechanism while it's closed, if that makes sense. I don't think it will do a huge damage but it's always best to be safe with it. So, you know, that's that's pretty much what the verdict is. Same kind of setup up front. Nothing really changes for the 24 chassis that I can see. Um, and that's, that's all I've got. I really banged my head on that slide out earlier, but um, that is all I've got on the Red Hawk 24B for the 23 to the 24, the different interiors, the different options. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment down below if you got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy camping.